I've always been intrigued by the idea of 3D printing pens, but never pulled the trigger until now. This is the eSun LTP 2.0 3D printing pen. You know what time it is? Tech Wiz time. I had a representative from eSun send me out one of their new models of 3D printing pens. And the one that they sent me out was the LTP 2.0 3D printing pen. Disclaimer alert. This video is not sponsored by eSun. I have not been paid by eSun. eSun have not asked me to do any favorable review on this product. All thoughts and opinions are my own. Now that that's out of the way, let's get back to the review. What's in the box? Inside the multicolored box, you get your 3D printing pen, a bilingual user manual, USB cable, and a power adapter. Most online shops also include samples in multiple colors of both eMate and PLA so you can get to creating straight out of the box. Mine only came with a single sample of eMate. But luckily I have my own rolls of PLA. So the LTP stands for Low Temperature Printing. That is its unique selling point for a couple of reasons. The first is that it can be used by children over eight with adult supervision. The second is that it can print not only 1.75 millimeter PLA, but also eSun's exclusive filament called eMate. What is eMate, you might ask? Well, let me tell you. Obscure filament time. eMate is one of the lowest temperature rated filaments that I'm aware of. Extruding at a very low 80 degrees Celsius, this filament is perfect for young children who want to be creative with 3D printing. The immediate danger of 200 degrees Celsius plus temperatures is now reduced to over half. It's still only suggested for children over eight and adult supervision is highly recommended. One of the other features of eMate is that if you mess up a print, you can throw the plastic into hot water. After a short while, the filament will become pliable. Not only have you saved wasting any filament, you've also opened up the opportunity to recycle your eMate in another creative project. Second life achievement. The outer shell at the bottom of the 3D printing pen near the hot end only gets to around 40 degrees Celsius which helps to reduce accidental burns. The only way that I could see myself or anyone else for that matter, getting burnt is by flipping the 3D printing pen and touching the hot end. Even then I would need to hold it for a bit just to get burnt. From what I can see, there is no other way of doing this unless you are super talented. The first revision of this pen was powered by 12 volts. This new iteration is now powered by a tiny five volts which brings up its second unique feature. Having the ability to power a 3D printing pen via USB is an amazing feature. This means you can plug it into your iPhone charger, a PC or a laptop, and even a battery power bank. You are no longer tethered to the wall. Freedom achievement. That's everything that you should need to know about the eSun LTP 2.0 3D printing pen. Did I miss something? Let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video so far, Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. With that all said, let's get on to seeing what this bad boy can do. Testy testings. All right, so I'm all set up here to start, but there's a couple of things that I've got in front of me. So I've got the 3D printing pen, got the USB cable. I've got the supplied eMate filament, which I will use a little bit later. A battery power bank. Now this one's an anchor, which I have used for years and highly recommend it to anyone. I also brought with me the user manual just in case I couldn't figure anything out. A couple other things that I brought, Ugh, bit noisy. I bought some white PLA and some black PLA. Okay, so that's my own stock. I've also bought a pen and paper on a clipboard just so it won't move and my mobile phone for reference. Now, let's get started. All right, so I'll set that at 195 degrees Celsius. Let's check that I haven't missed anything else. Place that there for the moment so I can heat up. While that's doing it, I will have a look at the user's manual just in case. Okay, so the lowest temperature it can go to is 80 degrees. And let's see what the highest is. Okay, so it looks like 195 is the highest temperature it can go. I haven't prepared myself very well here, but what I am going to attempt to do is a very small notebook from a manga and anime series called Death Note. 
So this is not going to be perfect. As you can see, my square is not very square or rectangle. Okay, so we're at 125 degrees at the moment. So I'll pull out my black PLA. There we go. You can't hear it. That's the sound it's making as it's drawing the filament in. So I'm holding down that button there. Okay, so it looks like it was tested using white. Okay. All right. So that's retracted now. And I just did touch the edge there. I've got my hand on that section. It is warm and it's getting hotter as I leave it there, but it's not anything that's gonna burn you. So that's good to know. That little black section there. All right, so let's clean off our nozzle just a little bit. And we will Change to white. Okay, that's it for the paper section. I feel like that kid in that meme who really likes colouring right now. <laughs> if you've seen it, you'll know what I mean. Okay, so I just grabbed a couple of files just to help remove some of the excess here. What I might do now is I might do a little bit more post-processing on this, remove the paper from the back, and possibly even fill in the gaps here so it looks more like a notebook. All right, so give me a moment and I'll be back at my desk. After all that, here's what the final product looks like. I present to you the Death Note. After fixing the white pages inside, I also fixed the black edges, and now it can stand on its own. It's almost got that Tim Burton sort of look to it. Printing Pen Pro Time. The eSun LTP 2.0 3D printing pen is my first 3D printing pen. And after my experience with it, I can guarantee you it won't be my last. The pen is really easy to hold and doesn't have too many buttons. And from the couple of times that I did touch the lower end of the pen, I can see that it would be really hard to get any sort of burn from this unit. The ability to use the eSun 3D pen with a battery power bank is a huge plus in my mind. Printing pen con time. The first con that I have is more about my choice of filament distribution, meaning the filament on a roll. I found myself constantly pulling on the spool to get more filament. This can be easily solved by using a ball bearing style filament holder. Note to self, create a ball bearing filament delivery system. The second con has to do with the instructions. I don't feel they were clear enough, even with the quick look that I had, to understand how the unit operated. As a favour to anyone out there who is looking to purchase one of these, I've created a handy resource on my website, techwiztime.com. Here you will find my version of the instructions and how to use the device. I feel like this is clearer and more concise. If you think it's missing something though, let me know down in the comments. Apart from that though, I was actually really impressed with this 3D printing pen from eSun. I've got a lot more ideas for this 3D printing pen, including a few techniques that I haven't seen out there on the internet. If you're interested in 3D printing pens and what you can achieve with them, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to help the TechWiz Time channel grow, then you can in a couple of different ways. You could check out my Patreon campaign, you could share this video with all your friends, 
or you could send me some fan mail letting me know how much you love what I'm doing here. If you've got a question or wanna let me know something straight away though, then leave me a comment down below. Like this video and make sure you subscribe. And as always, imagine, learn, create.